Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, the goal of my YouTube channel is to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routines, uh, so that you can cook the food that you love with the best health outcome. For this, I have developed the Fast Cooking System, and the word Fast is the acronym for Flavor Chasing, Advanced Prepping, Stir Frying, and Template Based Cooking. And when you combine these four attributes, home cooking is the best of both worlds: delicious and healthy. If you are new to home cooking, you should start now because it is better late than never. Combining advanced prepping and stir frying, you can cook a meal at the drop of a hat. Practical, efficient, and fast. And with flavor chasing and template-based cooking, you will always be looking to improve the flavor of your food. And with my cooking system, home cooking is a piece of cake for me each evening. I never feel tired, bored, or distressed. With my cooking system, I continue to make improvements. I constantly shake things up, and I will give an old dish a new lease of life. I used to cook salmon in large pieces, as shown in almost all recipes, and this seemed to be a safe bet. But it turned out to be not the case. I used to afraid stir frying salmon in the wok. Because I'm afraid that I'm going to break them up too much. Also, that turned out not to be the case. I used to be afraid of seasoning the salmon with oyster sauce, thinking that it might ruin the flavor of the salmon. But it turned out not to be the case. Because of my fast cooking system, it allowed me to experiment how to cook and flavor the salmon. Allow me to create. The best salmon dish I have ever had before. Okay, let's go into the kitchen. I'm going to show you how I cook this salmon dish that is flavored with oyster sauce. And because of the different vegetables that I'm going to cook with the salmon, I'm going to call this dish oyster sauce stir fry salmon deluxe. I used to pan fry an eight ounce piece of salmon in the wok, and it usually takes about somewhere between eight to ten minutes. However, it is very difficult to control the exact doneness of the salmon because it's so big, and I end up either overcook it or undercook it. So I use a different strategy, and I decided to cut them up first before I pan fry them. The salmon that I use have never been frozen, which provides the best quality. They also come with skin. I cut them into one-inch strips, which turn out to be the best after trying different sizes. And now I'm able to cook the same amount of salmon in half the time as previously. One of our favorite dish is to cook the salmon with different kinds of vegetables. To cook this dish, I first pan fry about eight. Ounces of salmon, which is just about right for two of us. I then set the salmon aside before cooking the vegetables. This is a vegetable medley with eggplant, baby bok choy, mushroom, and tomatoes. It took about ten minutes to cook this vegetable medley. I then seasoned this vegetable medley with oyster sauce. Uh, after that, I transferred the vegetable onto a plate and I laid the salmon on top of it. Uh, they are really like two different dishes uh, because the salmon uh, does not take on the flavor of the vegetable dish. And in this case, I did not stir fry the salmon.、Uh, then an idea came to me: What if I cook the salmon and the vegetable together so they both would get the flavor from each other? So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how I achieved that objective. I cooked this dish in my Cusina 14-inch stainless steel wok by starting out with two tablespoons of canola oil. After I heat up the oil, I season the wok using my spot seasoning method to create a non-stick cooked surface. The first step is to pan fry the salmon, 
I lay the salmon down on the surface of the wok with the skin side down. I'm going to pan fry the skin of the salmon uh, until it reaches a crispy texture. A charring the skin gives the salmon excellent taste. Otherwise, the skin usually is too oily and it is not the greatest taste to eat. A this cuisine 14 inch stainless steel wall has a large flat surface area, almost 9 inches across, so that you can use it like a small frying pan. Uh, this makes the wok highly flexible, uh, allow it to carry out different type of cooking function other than stir frying. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of space on the flat surface of the wok, and that gives me the idea that I could cook other food ingredients at the same time with the salmon. And because of advanced prepping, I have many vegetables to choose from, and I decided I'm going to use some Brussels sprouts. So I find some open areas uh, to put the Brussels sprout. Uh, both my wife and I love Brussels sprouts, and we know it would go well with the salmon. Uh, next, I also uh, find some uh, eggplant in my advanced prepping. I add the Brussels sprout and the eggplant at a later time point of this cooking process uh, because they take shorter time to cook than the salmon. And by this point, the skin of the salmon is probably about 50% done, and I'm able to push the salmon out of the way so I can accommodate more vegetables in the wok. Now, this cooking method has two advantages. The first advantage is I can save time, because I can cook both of them together instead of cooking them separately. And the second advantage is flavor, uh, because the salmon will take on the flavor from the vegetable. Uh, similarly, the vegetables will take on the flavor from the salmon. Uh, in order not to disturb the salmon uh, while their skin is still being fried, I use a pair of tongs uh, to stir fry the vegetables gently. I'm keeping a close eye on the heat of the stove. Uh, try not to burn anything in the wok. If I notice that anything looks like that being burnt, I would turn the heat down. Uh, so far, so good. I am leaving the heat on the highest setting. Uh, if you have a wok with smaller flat surface area, uh, this might be a little bit more difficult to accomplish. It takes about 1 to 2 minutes to fry the skin of the salmon to the texture that I like. Next, I turn the salmon over to fry the other side. I discovered the best flavor of the skin is when they are completely charred. This is when the oil has been extracted from the skin and gives the skin the best crispy texture. A salmon cook much faster when they are in small chunks, and the quality of the salmon is not being affected at all. At this point, the salmon will be cooked very fast, and usually within about 30 to 40 seconds, it will be fully cooked. Now, since you can see the flesh of the salmon readily, uh, you have a much better judge in terms of how much you want the salmon to be done. This will allow you to time the remaining cooking time depending how much you want the salmon to be done. The first of the last two ingredients I'm going to add is some white mushroom. I add white mushroom toward the end because I want them to be only lightly cooked. And now I'm going to switch the cooking to stir frying using the wok spatula to mix everything together. The salmon piece is now being cooked in such a way that they have been sealed on all sides, so now the stir frying would not break them apart. Still, I'm trying to stir fry the content gently. So, as you can see, stir frying is a dynamic process. You have control over how much you want to cook the ingredients. Uh, you can control by how much you want to cook the ingredients by adding them at different time uh, to the wok. I'm going to season the dish with 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce and then with about half tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Uh, to give this dish a little bit of a sweet sour flavor, I'm also going to add half 
tablespoon of the Panda Express orange sauce. And the last ingredients I'm going to add is a handful of cherry tomatoes. Next, I'm going to create a light sauce by adding a small amount of water. I look specifically for the area that had debris that have been burned to the surface of the wok. I used the wok spatula to scrape them off, so return the flavor back to the dish. I'm also cleaning the wok at the same time. I call this method spot cleaning that makes cleaning the wok in the sink afterwards much simpler. A few quick stir, the dish is done, and the total cook time is a little bit over 9 minutes. And this is really excellent when you consider the complexity as well as the ingredients involved in making this dish. The flavor of this dish is truly exceptional because the vegetable and the salmon blend their flavor together. The charring of the salmon skin, the Brussels sprouts, and the eggplant provide excellent flavor and texture for the dish. This video demonstrates the advantage of stir frying and how you can modify the technique to create unique dishes. I think this dish deserves the title of Oyster Sauce Stir Fry Salmon Deluxe. And the goal of this video is to give you an understanding of the working of my fast cooking system. If you would like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.